Hey, I'm Jeremiah Watkins, I'm 29 years old, and I'm a comedian. My name is Jeremiah, and I always spit that fire with my boy, Patty Reagan. He's always to my right. Yeah. The golden hair messiah smelling fresher than papaya. Watch out. I have been performing since I was a little kid, and I've, I've, I've loved making people laugh since I was, I was very little. And one of the first things where I started getting laughs from people is whenever I would do imitations or mimics. Every single week he commits to different characters. I never know what he's going to do. He went to the green room and locked himself in pretty early tonight. <laughs> So let's see what it is. It is the leader of the Kill Tony Band, the best damn band in the land. It is Jeremiah Watkins. There we go. Oh! We've seen this guy before. I'm super grateful that I have a show like Kill Tony as an outlet because we'll get characters that start working on the show that people start enjoying, they want to see come back, so we'll throw old ones in occasionally so there's recurring characters along with the new ones that are coming out. And some of the new ones become hit characters and then some of the new ones we never do again because they're horrible. But that's just kind of how it goes whenever you're creating new characters every week. You're about to step inside my mind. This is where I keep all of them. Um, all the character stuff, all the wigs, all the, the costumes that we use for Kill Tony and I use for different sketches. So as you see, you know, random dude, corporate wig, commander in chief wig. There's a, of course a brown afro. Um, I had to invest in some lady shoes because I kept dressing in drag. Oh, a prison jumpsuit. We got shanks in the building. The best thing about it, uh, working with friends is they know your quirks and they know if a joke bombs or doesn't do as well as you thought it would do. They, they know that you're like scrambling to try to save it at that point. And that could be a really fun live element, like kind of pushing the boundaries with your friends. It is daunting. <laughs> and sometimes it literally comes down to the deadline of Monday, the night of the show, like hours before where I'm texting, or calling back and forth with my buddy Joel Jimenez who plays drums on Kill Tony and is a, a big part of the creative process with that and we get a text chain going and we start calling and he'll go shopping for stuff or I will and we'll bounce ideas off each other. <laughs> Drum roll. One more thing of uh, different accessories. So like this is where I keep makeup and bow ties and different gloves and oh, cat bag uh, Different bandanas, headbands and then there's more wigs. Um, you know, a Khaleesi wig. Uh, I'm actually using this wig tonight because uh, we're being, I'm being a uh, Chicago bike cop tonight. I'm very excited about that. Got my bike shorts, <sighs> cop badge, this. My buddy uh, Joel Jimenez is bringing me a bike helmet. And then I uh, got some fingerless gloves in here that uh, should be accessible. You got yourself a Chicago bike cop. Here's the thing about this. Okay. Somebody stole my bike. Okay. It's a federal offense to steal an officer's bike at any moment. But here's the thing. If I see the perp, I have the right to kill him. Right there. The squad there. That's the fun. Go for it. Jeff Ross always tells me, enjoy the process. And that's something that's really hard to hear as a young comedian. Whenever you're doing everything that you can to, to just try to get acknowledgement or respect from peers. And Tony always, you know, he goes, I'll even double down on that. He goes, love the process. Like really enjoy each moment to moment. And that's definitely a quirk that I've picked up like from a couple of those guys is like really trying to not take for granted what's happening right here, right now, and really just trying to enjoy each step of the journey. Joe Rogan! The Joe Rogan impression specifically is one of the highlights of 
my career as far as what I want to be doing, like character-wise and impression-wise, and it felt the closest thing, what I assume what Saturday Night Live would feel like when you get to do the impression for the celebrity that is right in front of you. Luckily, he liked the impression and, you know, we're still friends. <laughs> How did you get your head to be like that? That's <laughs> impressive. You went to a real professional for that. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, I gotta go get ready for Kill Tony at the comedy store tonight, but thanks for watching my comic routines.